Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I have this really cute and simple stamping tutorial for you. It is using one image from Bundle Monster 202, so it's from their second bundle. And it uses three different nail polishes and that stamp. So let's grab all your so grab all your supplies and let's get the tutorial started. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I'm going to apply my base coat. And for this design, I am using OPI's Natural Nail Base Coat. I am going to allow that to dry, and then we'll move on to our next step. So I've let my base coat dry, and now I'm going to be applying my base color. And today I'm using Plum Power by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I know it's going to show up pretty purple looking, or blue looking in the camera, uh, but it really is more of kind of like a magenta purple. And the most important part for this color is that you have it looking really good by your cuticle. It doesn't really matter by the rest of your nail because we're going to cover that up with a second color. Okay, so the purple's had a chance to dry and next I'm going in with OPI's Russian Navy and this is in the suede finish. Okay, so now that the purple's had a chance to dry, we're using Bundle Monster Image Plate 202 and we're using this zipper image there. I'm going to go in with a silver and this is Millennium by China Glaze. Apply, scrape, and try and line it up so it goes onto the center of your nail. And then next we're going to go in with your second color. I'm just going to get a it's just a piece of foil, but you can use scrap paper or whatever. And the color I'm going in with is Russian Navy by OPI. And this is actually a suede finish, which is similar to a matte. And I'm going in with sort of a medium-sized detail brush. And I'm going to paint that on the outside of the zipper. See, and this is why I said it doesn't really matter if you're super accurate with your first color, because like I missed an entire portion there, but it doesn't matter. So we're going over it with our second color. Okay, and just to make this look a little more finished, I'm just going to do a little bit of blue right on the bottom. Okay, so that's had a little bit of a chance to dry. So we're going to finish this off with a top coat. And today I am using OPI's top coat. And this will just help give everything a nice shine and help protect your manicure and make it last longer. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.